this is Ian M. and you're into another episode of Three Quick Questions with Ian M. Now, I know that you've seen this band on my show before, but I had to bring them back and let them uh, be heard again. This is a band that uh, I just saw and their, their performance is energetic. I can't say enough about these guys, they're a band that you're going to hear of in the future, for sure. And there are four guys that are some of the best people you meet, some of the nicest guys. And uh, can I have you guys introduce yourselves, please? Ron Anger. Cam Asavian. Parker Johnson. Mike Bettencourt. And together, they are Piss and Blood. And what I gotta say is go out and see them live. They're amazing. Their their shows are just energetic and crazy. And you guys will walk out and be amazed and love this band as much as I do. But I wanna talk to you guys. This is actually the second incarnation of this is and there's a story about Las Vegas that what stays in Vegas or what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Sometimes what happens in Vegas ends up in Piss and Blood. Can you tell us a little about the story about how you joined the band? Well, we were playing the Double Down with my other band and I saw this great Piss and Blood. Actually, we were, I think we were fighting about Time slot. We first met you guys. Anyways, we had a plane. You guys, you guys had a plane right before us. We played after. Oh, you did? Okay. By the way, I watched you guys playing out. Or actually, you got my number from someone else. I think from one of the guys in my band or something. They called me after that. And I said, all right, I'm in. What? His body's made of stone. And now you are with some bud. I got the money from tonight's show. <laughs> and he still has the I money. I thought I lost it. We do get paid. He's got proof. <laughs> we do the get proof paid is in once the money in a while. Right there. <laughs> and my next question is, you guys are a punk band. Punk is about anarchy and about revolution, revolution, revolution. And with everything that's going on in the world today, with London, with Greece, what happened in the Middle East, how do you think the punk scene is going to uh, pick that up with the anarchy? And do you think Piss and Blood is a uh, band that can lead the uh, next future of the punk revolution with the uh, I know that's probably a good question. Given you a lot of uh, it's a good question. It has to be a movement of people to take control of the political systems that we exist in. We have to take big money out of politics and bring it back down to a uh, more grassroots level, you know, and I'm talking about the, the freaking, uh, what is it, the uh, Tea Party, because the Tea Party is bullshit, they're a bunch of fucking religious fanatics who fucking want to, you know, they, they want to, they want small government, they don't want a government that spends money, but at the same time, they, they want to put uh, people in office that only represent big money and have these fanatical religious views. But the first thing you have to do if you're going to change anything is you have to take big money out of the election process. And you have to make sure that there are controls to make sure that there's no way that big money can control anything in politics whatsoever. Which the Supreme Court is fucked up because they rule that large corporations are uh, individuals. So right there, we've already been set back about a million miles. Are you free? So that's all I can say. Fuck.
They're fucking douchebags. I second that. They're and corrupt. They're corrupt. Somebody's buying them off. They're full of shit. This is garbage. And now, tonight you played, uh, you played a new song. And it's, I assume, going to be off your new CD. Yeah, it's on the album. Uh, I know we spoke last time. You said your CD was in mixing and you were going through mastering again. How is your new CD coming along? That is my diet. We're done mixing and now we're going to mastering. In fact, we just finished mixing, like, what, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. It, we were just oh, nitpicking yeah. at this point with the, with the mixing. You are getting you know, it's like, oh, the lead guitar needs to be louder here, the back of vocals need to be louder there. But it's done. The mixing's done. Now it goes to mastering. Uh, the, the guy that's going to master it is Harry Wine, Weinberg. And uh, he's done uh, Nirvana Nevermind. He's done... Uh, I'll come to Wolves. Yeah, he's done, yeah, he's done three Rancid albums. <laughs> like and Slayer. Yeah, it's like uh, Tom Waits. He's done everybody. He's done a lot of flash albums. And this is a bonus question. We were talking a little before. We got paid! We got paid for the show tonight. And we sucked. They did not suck tonight. They think they did, but they did not. No, we sucked and we got paid. <laughs> Nobody ever fucking pays us. Well, how bad is a band that gets paid when they suck? I don't think you can be that bad. They didn't have any choice. <laughs> we should suck more often. They didn't, they didn't have any choice. They had to pay us. Hey, come out and see them so they can get paid more. Alright, I want to end on one note we were talking earlier. It's all have, gas money. I don't have a job. So this is very important to me because I have no fucking job. This band is my fucking job. And if you want to keep them employed, please come down and see this band. Please come down and support them. They're a their band that I cannot suggest that you see enough. I uh, highly recommend them. And I, I want to say thank you for coming on again. But one last thing, we were talking earlier, football season. Anything you want to say about the Bears? That? The Bears. Chicago. My team sucks. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, I'll just tell you his team involves a star and it's called yeah, Dallas. He's the fucking Cowboys. My team sucks, dude. No, wait, wait. Your team is the team that every preseason they're self proclaimed to win it all. Oh, yeah. Like every year. Yeah, but this season you haven't heard anything about them, and the reason why is because everybody already knows they're going to suck. <laughs> Well, for all you uh, Bears fans, go Bears. For all you uh, Cowboys fans, I'm sorry. Don't let the Steelers win another Super Bowl. Don't. And to end on this on a high point, Steelers are going to win the Super Bowl again this year. And uh, no way. <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. Okay, Steelers might not win it again this year, but next year they will. He doesn't know anything about music either. Piss and Blood sucks. Fuck you. See this shirt? I bought it not even knowing who they were. I just bumped into them off the street. I... It was amazing. I was wearing a Piss and Blood shirt, and here they are. Wow. I got paid tonight. We got paid. <laughs> they got paid, and... Oh, wait, that's all ones. <laughs> yeah, it's all ones, exactly. Strip club... Yeah, well, they were using the poll today. That's how they got their money. I, 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 I don't know about that. It, those aren't even real ones. <laughs> but please, I do recommend Piss and Blood. Four of the nicest guys you will ever meet. One of the best bands you will ever see. So when you see Piss and Blood is playing next to you, or, or playing in your town, go fucking see them. I say it and I mean it. See him! Okay, this has been E&M. Three quick questions with E&M. My guest today, Piss and Blood, Ron. Don't guy. listen to this guy. Don't listen to me. They're not that good. They suck. Don't listen to me. Go out and don't even pay attention yeah, to them. Yeah, they give a big hug right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, for three quick questions with E&M, this has been E&M, and we are out.
Yeah.